wish my mom had gotten me piano lessons when I was younger. My mom didn't get me piano lessons. She got me MATLAB. I'm Professor Ding, Nick, and or Alex, or whoever's watching. My name is Hannah Curran. And I'm Liz Zimmer. And this is our Engineering 6 final project video. We chose to do the automatic piano music player, and this is how we divided the tasks. The script so that we could take one or two ASCII files of notes and synthesize them into their respective frequencies and waveforms. I devised a script that will plot and play the waveform of the notes measure by measure so that the user will be allowed to start the music after each pause. I added attack and decay to the waveforms and normalized the pitch so that the generated sound is much more pleasing to the ear. I also added an option for the user to play the notes continuously rather than measure by measure. I gave the user the option to play one or two songs and the ability to change the tempo. We both created an option for the user to add an emphasis on the first and third beat of a 4-4 measure. I wrote the instructions for running the script as well as the project description in my own personal summary. I also wrote my personal summary and edited this awesome video you're currently watching. Alright, so this script is very simple. All you really need to do is know the text file that you want to upload. You're going to run the script and then input, just follow the instructions on the screen and it'll all be good. So it's very easy. So the function note me is pretty simple. It basically just takes the text that was in your file and it manipulates it into an array that is just one column and has no commas and just represents the notes. Um, the frequency function is going to take the array of notes that you generated with NoteMe and for each note it assigns a baseline frequency based on the frequency of the lowest octave. Um, then using the frequency ratio, which is the 12th root of 2, you're going to multiply or divide that baseline value depending on whether the note is sharp or flat. So if it's sharp, you're going to multiply, and flat, you're going to divide. Um, and then each octave is double that of the octave before. So in this last part, we are going to finalize the frequency values of the notes by doubling the value um, however many times according to its octave. So for the functions amped and beats, they run pretty much the same way in that they take the ASCII script value for either amplitude or note length from your uh, capital notes array and they make new arrays A and T um, with the amplitude and the note length values for each note. Um, the only difference is with beats, the final value is going to be the inverse of what is in the script. So. For example, a half note would have a value of 1 over 2, and an eighth note would have a value of 1 over 8. So the sine function is probably the most important that we have in our script. It generates the sinusoid values of the notes from the beat length, frequency, the tempo, and the amplitude. Um, it also adds an attack and decay scheme to the values using vector concatenation. So, using the sampling frequency, beat length, and the tempo to define a time frame, we're going to loop all the note values through it, and it's going to concatenate an array of the sinusoid values for however long the time frame is. Uh, the attack and decay make it so that the peak frequency is reached halfway through each note's time frame, so it sounds like it's going up and down. Um, then we're going to multiply the attack and decay to the note frequencies and create our final values of the waveform. The EMPS function is basically the same thing as the sine function, except as you can see after we generate P, we are going to um, 
make it so that if the value of i, i.e. the beat number, is odd, or the first and third, it's gonna multiply the value of p by 3, so that these first and third values are larger in amplitude and thus louder. So our final product is the script called Final. We first ask the user to input how many files they want read, followed by an option to emphasize the notes. If the user inputs one file with no emphasis, an if loop is used for the file. The loop synthesizes the file using our functions note me, beats, freak, and ant. It then gives an option for the user to play the music continuously or with pauses. A while loop is used if the user wants pauses. The built-in strtok function is used to separate the music between breaks. The loop uses our function sign to generate the sinusoid values to plot and play for each measure. If the user chooses to play the music continuously, the loop removes the breaks found in the script and plots the whole waveform. The next part is basically the same except for two files. When the waveform is played with two files, the waveforms are added on top of each other. The third and fourth sections of the script involve the user asking for emphasis. At that time, our function, emphs, is used in place of our sign function. This causes the notes to be played in the same time, but with emphasis on the first and third beats. Alright, so here is our final script. We're going to run it twice through. This first one, we're going to input one file, and then the second time, we're going to input two files. So, let's call up the script function. So first we're going to put in one file. We do not want to add emphasis for this one. Um, and the music file we're going to upload is cave.txt. So, I love Mumford and Sons. That's not actually the name, but I was just letting you know who made this music. So, our tempo is going to be about, I'm going to put it point seven five. It's a little fast. So we're going to play it continuously first. Alright, so, look, it plotted our waveform, yay! So, as you can see here, they're all eighth notes, and then we get a quarter note and a half note, so... And they're peaked because we have an attack and decay scheme. So now we're going to call up it again, but this time we're going to put in two files. So, no, we don't want to add emphasis. Our first file is going to be special jbl.txt. And no, it's not Justin Bieber. jb.r.txt. Tempo is going to be one. And we're going to play our music measure by measure first. Here's the waveform for that measure. Here's the waveform for that measure. And that measures waveform. So, and then there's that measures waveform. So, we'll I'll play that one again for you. Um just so that you can appreciate oh, uh oh Screwed that one up. Pause, pause. So, so we're gonna play that one again, just so you can appreciate our musical skills. No, we don't want to add emphasis. J B L J B R dot text, and then our tempo is gonna be one, and we want to play continuously this time. I hope that sounds familiar and then here's the waveform for that so that is what our script does and what it looks like it's a little more complicated when you look at the specs but it seems pretty simple so yay the end